Yo, what's going on guys? Waffles here and welcome to the Murder Mystery 2 Christmas event for 2020 and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a little interesting. Um, I shouldn't really be surprised at this point, but it's basically a copy-paste from last year with a new lobby and new weapons. Um, so there is a battle pass that costs 800 snowflake tokens, 20 tiers to get through, um, and then there's gonna be like, you know, the challenge or whatever where you have to bring back more tokens and then you get the actual godly, um, I, I'm not really sure what it is, it's probably like a scythe or something, um, but it's really hard to tell. Uh, and then there's going to be the mystery box, which you can unbox a godly from, costs 600 tokens each box. Uh, you can buy snowflake tokens for about the same ex uh, price as the Halloween event. So if you have loads of Robux, you'll do fine on this event. But uh, if you don't, then you'll have to grind your way through it. Uh, there's also the gifts coming back this year, which is uh, a thousand snowflake tokens for one gift and a hundred gifts to get this gun. Um, yeah, uh, it's kind of pricey. It costs about uh, 10,000 Robux if you want to get it right now. It costs around there. Actually, let, let, let's do the math. What's the cheapest option if you actually wanted to buy it? It would probably be around 17, okay. Let's, let's do the math, you know, it's worth it if um, some of you guys are gonna buy it, so it's, it's worth it doing the math here. Okay, if you wanted to buy 100,000 worth of tokens, it would cost you 8,000 Robux. Like, right now, it would cost you 8,000 Robux. Uh, there's also San Santa's challenges. Um, I think this gives you gifts, like, or a gift. I'm not really sure. I've never really done the challenges. It might give you a knife. I really don't know. Um, I think it gives you a knife or a gun. I'm not sure. I didn't do it last year because I didn't really play last year. Um, there's two leaderboards. There is this one, which is uh, collecting tokens off the ground. Um, Everyone already knows that Hippo is going to be on first place, so if you're trying to get first place, bad luck for you. Uh, and there's also a gifts leaderboard, which is already picking up so quickly. So, so quickly. Somebody's at th 62 gifts already. So, if you want to get on this leaderboard, I, if honestly, if you want to be on this leaderboard, which is the pay-to-win leaderboard, what you need to do is wait until the like event is almost done and then see how much it's gonna cost you. Um, if you're gonna do this like leaderboard legitimately, good luck. Um, it's gonna take you a little while, but it is possible. Um, it is definitely possible. You could definitely grind out like a thousand snowflake tokens each day, like easily. Like that's that's really easily. You could grind this out like an hour if you really wanted to. Um, so don't worry about that. You guys will definitely be able to do that. And there's also a new godly for the same price, which is the Cookie Blade. So, I'm not optimistic. I think that the Cookie Blade is going to be one of the leaderboard rewards, considering the last Halloween event, the leaderboard reward was the pack item. I don't think it's going to be the Peppermint, but then again, we'll have to see what's in the mystery box. We'll have to find out what the godly that you unbox from it is, and you'll also have to see what you get from the tears because the tears where are they oh my god i lost the tears Hold on. there we go um whatever this gives could potentially if it's not a scythe be what you get for um the leaderboard prize for one of them um but usually nick likes to do it where there's like a set so you could be looking at the two leaderboard prizes right here i'm not gonna lie to you it's possible i don't think that it's gonna be the case but then again, no one thought that the Halloween leaderboard prize was going to be the the pack item. So, it, it's definitely possible. But uh, that's enough of that. Let's show you guys the, uh, let's show you the, uh, the, the lobby. So, it's definitely bigger. I do like that. Okay, let's see. Sneak peeks. Alright, well, we got a snowman of Slouse and Xylik. It's pretty cool. Um, we got a little balcony up here. Can we go up on the balcony? Oh, we can go up on the balcony. How nice. Uh, there's an ice skating mechanic, which is cool. It's pretty fun. Uh, there's like a little sawmill, there's a little igloo that you can go in. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, anything back here? Any spoilers for us? Nope, nope. 
Um, okay, so they just relocated the two game passes. We got in St. Nicholas, the uh, the main event feature. We got a little vent here. Is the ice skating mechanic on this as well? Yeah, it's not as good as the other one, but it's still there. Uh, you got a Christmas tree up in the middle with a little star with like some stuff coming out of it, like a shooting star, I guess. Um, is there any sneak peeks over here? Nope, it appears not. Wait, what? You can get up here. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, if you want, you can get up here now. That's actually pretty cool. Um, let's see. There's also the new lobby uh, voting area, which is pretty cool. I do like this style of a more open voting area. So, to be honest, that's pretty good. Um, there's a little coffee machine. Oh, it has the little, like, uh, what is that called? I forgot the name of that. Coming out of it. It's coming out of that as well. There's a little robot toy. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. A little elf with a bench. A, a bench. A bench. It's pretty nice. Uh, I think that's it for the lobby, and I think that's it for the update. I'm not sure if there's any Christmas-themed maps. I think there might be. Uh, let me see if Nicholas said anything. He hasn't even made an announcement about it. Alright, well, if he hasn't even made an announcement about it, then I won't know. Um, I don't... There probably is a Christmas map, just like last year. Uh, of course, I'll probably make some videos on it. I'll probably do some gameplay in the new map. So you can definitely look forward to that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little brief overview. Uh, and yeah, I didn't buy the Battle Pass straight off the bat this time. I don't really know if it's worth it. Um, 800 times 20. Let's see how much that is. It's gonna be like 60,000. Right? Oh, 16,000. Okay, it costs 16,000 to get to the final tier, which is only like I don't know. It's only like 20 robux. Of, oh, I mean not 20 robux. It's only about like 20, 25 dollars to get there. But then there's always that like mission where it's like get 80,000 tokens or something. So if I were to do that, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. It'll probably be something similar to like the Log Chopper. I'm not saying the design is going to be similar, but it's going to be similar in value and demand. So I'm not sure if it's worth it for me. But uh, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about coming back and buying everything. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. Have a wonderful time playing this event. Uh, I'll probably do some streams on it, of course. Um, I'll probably buy the godly item pack in a different video. Not this one. I think we'll, we'll spread out the videos so that way you guys have more to watch and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.